hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to see the differences between array array list list and dictionary okay so uh i will start with uh, like uh, a basic class where i can show you the practical uh, implementation so let's do this using system okay i will write something like array okay so that uh, i can tell you the differences array list and then you will be having something called uh, generic list okay and then you will be having something called dictionary okay so i'm, I'm going to make the lengthy video having all these four collections but i'm going to split it out into two parts array array list and the second part will be your list and dictionary okay so let's start by creating a simple class called class collect okay whatever it is okay and then you uh, let's create one main okay so there i will be covering everything so let's just start with the array okay so what i want to tell you first is uh array is a strongly type okay i will explain you how just pair with me and the second thing is size is fixed okay come on and when it comes to the array list okay it's not a strongly type what strongly type mean is uh, just bear and then i will let you know and then size is not fixed okay so see strongly type this is this is obviously a positive point okay uh, because if it's not a strongly type there must i mean there should be some like explicit or implicit conversion boxing and boxing so it, it may result in some error okay and then uh, size is fixed so obviously this is not a good point because if you want to add some further data uh, this array is not going to help you so let's just start with the array and see how you can declare the array so array you can declare of any data type okay so you you must be writing some data type and then array so let's declare the array of integer data type so something like that integer and then let's declare let's let's give the name of array as array okay array num anything and then you have to write new int and then you need to give the size of the array okay so uh, you will be giving the size of array let's give that as five okay and then this so now your array is done you have created the array now the next thing uh in order to explain this part where size isn't fixed uh, i i need to like uh, initialize this array initialize or you can say in other words you need to update the array okay so as you have created the array of five elements it is going to create uh, you the array something like this okay so okay so four and then uh, is it is it five yeah so this is having some element let's say three this is four this is five six seven so if you have created the array of size 5 this is how your array will be uh, looking like so it will start with the index 0 and last element will have an index 4 which is size minus 1 okay so how to like uh, update your array so you you can you can initialize it or you can update it okay so if you want to initialize the array you can do it something like this one two let's say your third element you want to keep as 45 67 and 89 okay so this is how you'll be able to initialize it so if you want to run the uh, like if you want to run some loop of if you want to display the array array this you're going to see all this five okay in case if you don't want to do it or if you want to do it by other way then you have to do it something like this you can use the array num and then you'll be writing the index so your first index or the zeroth index okay and then what is the value you want to keep here so let's keep something like 10 okay and similarly for any number like for all the um, indexes you can you can add it so one okay and then you'll be having something called 20 okay so similarly to similar to this you even have it uh, so it will go to index fifth okay so this is fifth sorry not fifth four right size minus one and then three then two and you can have it like anything 40 20 10 okay so this is how your array should be updated 
so two things we have known here is uh, a strongly typed means uh, you cannot enter anything so if you want to enter something like uh, a string here it is going to throw you the error okay so see the error cannot implicitly convert the string to integer so this is how like one of the disadvantage I'm sorry not the disadvantage it is one of the advantage you can count it is a strongly type and this uh, the other thing is if you want to add something called array num of 5 okay is 30 okay it's going to like it it it, it will not throw the uh, error as of now but if you try to run it it's going to throw you the error okay let's do one thing mm, let me do one thing so let's do one thing for uh int i is equal to zero okay i is equal to zero i less than so what i can do add a num dot length okay so obviously this is going to give you i plus plus okay okay see what does it mean okay let's do one thing let's print uh, same anything you can print okay let's see what it will do you see you are getting the error right index was outside the bounds of an array so obviously you cannot update the array uh, more than the defined size so if you have defined the array of five you need to update the array only for the or you you need to have only five items in that array you cannot have the sixth one so this is called something called index out of range exception let's leave it okay now go to the array list now quick and fast so in array list okay so array list cannot run with the system okay you need to have you need to import or you need to use the namespace called system dot collection come on where are you going oh using the spelling is wrong using system dot collections okay so now if you want to create the array list okay let's do it at pk new is equal to new and then array list okay now the difference here is see the size is not defined you can you can have any number of like items in that particular array list as well as you can insert any any type of data so let's let me try to show you how so pk dot add okay so in first one i'm going to add mm, integer type okay one two three four let's see so this is something integer we have added in the second one what i will do is i will be adding some string okay so it's not going to throw you the error because it can it is not a strongly type and it is going to take up to any number of items okay so okay okay let me try to show you how to add the boolean also so true okay that's fine so i can add up to any number of elements or any number of items in the array list so that that will not have the any impact so uh, like uh, if if you take the positive points from both this uh, array as, as well as array list so the positive point here is a strongly type and the positive point here is size is not fixed so if you combine these two okay size is not fixed you will be getting the generic list 